Feminazi! Opening your eyes to the lies of social justice. When I think political correctness, I think reversing civil rights. Don't you? Apparently that's the way that these people think. Let's watch this glorious video of someone expressing the world in which they would like to live. You're saying that I can't have a hairstyle because of your culture? Yeah, Why? Because it's my culture. You know what goes on to me. Do you know it was in Egyptian culture? Are you Egyptian? Nah, bro, I'm not. Are you, Egyptian? Hey, no. Are you Egyptian? No, but doesn't you, matter. Wait, where's Egypt? Tell me. You know what, bro? Where's Egypt? Dude, go. You have no oh, right to tell me Ooh, what I can wear. Huh? Where's Egypt? Yo, girl, stop touching me right now. Yo, girl, stop touching me right now. Come back. Get off of hey. me. What the hair I have? That's no reason, yo. I don't need your disrespect. I don't need your disrespect. Why are you filming this? For everyone's safety. Cultural appropriation. It's one of social justice's great lies. All cultures are appropriated from other cultures. The culture in the United States has been referred to as a melting pot. The reason being that people can come here and bring parts of their culture, mix it in with the culture of America, and everybody gains from the experience. The United States is a conglomeration of people from thousands of cultures across the world joining together and giving what they have and taking of everybody else to create a new culture. What these people want is for us to self-segregate. They want black people to be black people isolated from other people. For black people to have their own unique culture that other people are forbidden, perhaps even by law, to have anything to do with. They don't want you wearing dreadlocks. They don't want you playing rap music. They don't want you wearing pantyhose on your head, although God forbid, why would you do that, you dumb thug? I don't understand this, and that's probably because I'm a good person. People like this woman are not good people. They want to keep us separated from each other. They want to keep our cultures from being able to get along. The civil rights struggle in the 60s was partly fueled by the fact that black people and other people of color, which, by the way, have you noticed how that's now the PC thing to say, when back then it was a slur on par with n***? The civil rights struggle in the 60s happened because segregation between white and non-white people existed. Non-white people were given poor facilities and were given second-rate everything. This person would like to take apart everything that makes black and white people able to mostly get along in the current culture. Black people should be separate from white people. Separate but equal, of course. Or perhaps even superior to white people because that seems to be the ultimate end goal her social justice warriors and fools like the Black Lives Matter movement are working towards. Do you remember back in history when the phrase that was going around was, can't we all just get along? Whatever happened to that? When did it become, we need to find new ways to separate people and to hold some people up while making other people stay on the bottom and be treated worse? I don't understand why black people who went through decades of actual oppression, where they were treated as second-class citizens, where they didn't have access to good facilities, they didn't have access to good schools, they were intentionally kept from progressing in society. I don't understand why that category category of people is now calling for segregation and racism. You would think that through all of this time, we would have learned that this isn't a good idea. But apparently, plenty of black people think that it is. If you were to listen to the youth of today, we should have black people and non-black people separated. If you were to listen to the youth of today and go along with the things that they're saying, we would have another segregated society. We would have two water fountains. We would have separate bathrooms. We would be forcing people to sit in the back of the bus whenever a person of a certain race was to show Show up and demand their seat. This is the kind of trash that social justice is pushing for. This is the kind of regressive philosophy that social justice wants to put in place on a legal level. There is no excuse for this kind of behavior. This was assault, plain and simple. And it was assault because some guy wore his hair in a style that this woman had decided was hers and hers alone and that he couldn't have. Never mind the fact that it was his hair, his choice, his body. He can do what he wants with it. No, this woman wants to play morality police over what other
other people do with their own bodies. That's authoritarianism. That is the true problem in our society. Authoritarianism is what needs to go. Whenever I talk about politics and politicians, I talk about how I don't care if they're liberal or if they're conservative. I care if they're authoritarian or libertarian. And the reason everything is so fucked up is because of authoritarianism. People who want to control every aspect of our lives and manage them for us and take away our free agency. That's what social justice warriors want. They would codify that into law happily. They would gladly elect the kind of politicians who would enact their regressive philosophies that tell us what styles of hair we can and cannot wear. Don't let authoritarians get away with it. Don't let social justice assholes bully you around. And make no mistake, this woman was a very obvious bully. These people are bullies. They do not deserve to be respected. They do not deserve the rights they possess because they would gladly throw your rights in the trash can. What happens when they get authoritarian regressive philosophies codified into law and then their pet politician leaves? The next people in there get to use that control over your life however they wish. What we need are people in charge that don't restrict us, that remove the limits to our freedom. Our freedom is more important than anyone's feelings. That's why you must fight social justice. That's why it is a cancer. That's why it must not be tolerated and must be cut out of society. This is Feminazi signing off.